If the Indiana Jones franchise has taught us anything, it's that the world is full of interesting treasures and trinkets. And some of them can be well and truly bizarre. But what are some of the weirdest? Don't worry, it's time to find out. These are the strangest artifacts ever discovered. Like this video, smash the subscribe button and click the notification bell right now or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 15. Magic Mirrors Ok, so magic might be a bit of an exaggeration, but we'll go with it. While these mirrors won't tell you how fair you are or help nurse your ego in any way, they're certainly not your typical run-of-the-mill mirror. Back in the 2nd century BC, Chinese artisans somehow found a way to craft a mirror that both reflected an image and, if exposed to a bright beam of light, allow that light to shine through it. If the light were bright enough, the intricately carved characters and patterns on the back of the frame would be projected onto a clear surface for a more unobstructed view. So even on your worst hear days, you get a beautiful view. Of course, as with any great illusion, scientists have spent centuries seeking a logical answer to unravel the mystery. And in a way, they found one. Between 206 BC and 24 AD, these magic mirrors were produced in significant quantities, a kind of proto-factory line process that all but confirmed there was some kind of practical solution beyond the illusion. And sure enough, the secret behind the construction of these mirrors was captured in an ancient Chinese text known as the Record of Ancient Mirrors. But of course, the book has never been recovered and is now considered to be lost. While the scientists will surely be disappointed, the magicians will be thrilled that another illusion has been kept secret. Now it's time for the odd topic. When this peculiar artifact was found buried in the depths of a recently opened Aztec tomb, the experts digging inside its walls couldn't quite believe it. It looks like a skull, but not of any earth creature, that's for sure. While there seems to be no question as to whether this thing is a real artifact from ancient Aztec times, the debate that is said to be currently raging within archaeological circles is, is it a skull of an actual creature or a fake skull made by the ancient Aztecs? It's definitely made of real bone. But was it the skull of some strange alien being? Or did the Aztecs reshape a dead man's skull to look like this for some reason? And if so, what reason? What do you think? Remember to comment down below with the hashtag, hashtag oddtopic, and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. And now to the next topic. Number 14. Stone Spheres I'll be honest, this whole list could be made up entirely of weird things found in the jungle. Fruits and plants that are poisonous, abandoned childhood toys, beer grills. There's just a lot of bizarre stuff in the wilderness, but none more so than Costa Rica's stone spheres. In the 1930s, a group of workmen for the United Fruit Company discovered a mysterious collection of stone orbs of varying sizes while cultivating a banana plantation in Dequis Valley. After hearing stories about hidden gold, the workmen decided to check for themselves, drilling holes into the spheres and blowing them up with dynamite. Of course, there was nothing inside, and the men had to explain to the authorities why they were blowing up odd stone spheres in the middle of the jungle. But we've all been there, right? Still, these spheres have remained a focus of scientific fascination ever since. But while scientists have narrowed the date of carving to between 200 BC and 1600 CE, they remain unable to conclusively determine the purpose of the stones. My guess is that they were paperweights, but feel free to share your own ideas in the comments. Full warning, I don't get paid to read them. Number 13. Crystal Skulls To perhaps everyone's surprise, these crystal skulls are not cosmetic modifications for the rich and crazy. While a skull adorned with crystals may seem like an in thing with the successful and wealthy, these crystal skulls are intricately carved sculptures made from rock crystal or white quartz. And of course, being so strange, these skulls have proved to be one of the most widely disputed artifacts ever discovered, and for a good reason. Depending on who you speak to, the skulls can be relics from Atlantis, proof of extraterrestrial life, or most commonly, simply carvings by an ancient Mesoamerican civilization of some kind. And honestly, who among us can say they haven't carved a few hundred human skulls out of rock? But while popular culture 
literature often portrays the skulls as having some kind of supernatural or extraterrestrial quality, the truth is rather more dull, as scientific studies have refuted all of those claims and concluded that most of the skulls are manufactured and have no real roots in Mesoamerican or Native American mythology. But despite this simple dismissal, these skulls continue to generate discussion around the world. With over a dozen crystal skulls in public and private collections around the world, there's no denying that old saying, an attractive skull shape will always get people talking. I may have made that up, but it's a saying now. Number 12. The Antikythera Mechanism You know how some of the best strange stories begin with a shipwreck, where some obscure or bizarre object falls off a boat? Well, get ready for that, because this is where we're headed. In 1901, archaeologist Valerio Stais retrieved a small wooden box from a shipwreck off the coast of Antikythera. An investigation revealed that the strange contraption was an ancient analog computer used as far back as 87 BC to predict planetary positions and eclipses decades in advance. Other uses included tracking the four-year cycle of athletic games, potentially including the ancient Olympic Games. Unfortunately, we were unable to find out if the ancient Greeks were able to gamble or not using this computer. But trust me, we tried. Further investigation by a team at Cardiff University discovered that the device was made up of 37 gear wheels, concluding that the internal mechanism was designed by Greek scientists to trace the movements of the moon and the sun and even predict eclipses. There would be no mechanisms of this complexity until the Europeans began crafting astronomical mechanical clocks in the 14th century. Unfortunately, even Europeans have yet to craft a clock or watch complex enough to predict the results of sports games accurately. But again, we did try to find out if that was a thing. Number 11. The Codex Gigas Now something for those of you who love books so much, you wish you could have all of them in one single book. Well, in the early 13th century, the Codex Gigas, or Giant Book in English, was created pretty much for this purpose. Essentially, a giant illustrated medieval book of the world, the Codex Gigas is basically the world's first compilation book. Sandwiched between the Old and New Testaments of the Vulgate Bible lie an unimaginable number of popular medieval works, all written in Latin. If I'm going to make this accessible to a younger audience, think of this book as kind of a medieval good read but without all the self-help and reviews of Dan Brown books. It's also sometimes referred to as the Devil's Bible due to the memorable and unique full-page portrait of the Devil. You have to give them credit for committing. But of course, the good times couldn't last. At the end of the Thirty Years' War in 1648, the Swedish took the collection from Rudolf II's Imperial Library in Prague as spoils of war, even to this day. The manuscript is preserved at the National Library of Sweden. If you're looking at this entry and trying to figure out why it's considered strange, just think about what it would be like to read a compilation of eight Stephen King novels in Latin when the pages are as big as your kitchen table. Also, there's a picture of the devil. Now that I've said it, it just sounds like another Stephen King novel. Number 10. Roman dodecahedrons. This one really is strange. Dating all the way back to the second century AD, the purpose of the Roman dodecahedron is still completely unknown. Around a hundred of the dodecahedra have been found around Europe. Yet there's no mention of nor photos of them in contemporary accounts of the period, leaving this small hollow device the subject of speculation, confusion, and general curiosity. They have been thought to be used as candlesticks, gauges for water pipes, and even dice. But there's no confirmed purpose for these small devices. Maybe the Romans just really wanted to play Dungeons and Dragons. But as with all strange artifacts, some have more unique theories about their intended purpose. A common theory about the dodecahedra claims that the Romans used them as an ancient fortune-telling device. And while it may be a stretch to assume that the Romans invented a kind of magic eight ball of their own, it does have some grounding in history. Many of the surviving dodecahedra were discovered in Gallo-Roman sites, a culture noted for its strong belief in fortune-telling and or the ability to predict the future. Whichever theory you believe, there's no denying that the Roman dodecahedron would probably be a huge hit on one of those TV shopping networks. Where else would you buy a single device that could be used as a candlestick, dice, and a pre-magic eight-ball fortune teller. Number 9. 
the Calyx Luwaka head. Surely, a severed terracotta head has to be considered strange, right? In 1933, archaeologist Jose Garcia Payon discovered the mysterious head during an excavation in Mexico's Toluca Valley, buried in a grave with gold, copper, bone, and pottery items, to name but a few. While the discovery was certainly strange, this artifact is made all the stranger because of its stylistic similarities to artifacts of Roman origin and its lack of any similarity to other artifacts from the era or site. In the decades since this revelation, scientists have conducted investigations and assessments that confirm the artifact's Roman DNA, yet nobody has been able to confirm precisely how the artifact got to Mexico. Theories range from suggestions of an elaborate prank played on archaeologist Payon by a colleague to a shipwreck washing up the item onto a nearby shore. But with researchers finding it impossible to even calculate when the grave was even buried, it appears to be very unlikely that any conclusive answer will ever be offered. Either way, the researchers likely didn't have half the headache this poor terracotta guy had. Number 8. The Piri Reyes Map in our modern society, it would make sense to put even a more recent physical map on this list as a strange artifact. But there is one map that elevates itself above all others. In 1513, the Ottoman admiral and cartographer Piri Reyes created a world map, citing a now lost map created by Christopher Columbus as a source for his work. Considering that it's a 16th century map, it's surprisingly accurate in its depiction of the Western European and African coasts, showcasing the extent of the New World exploration at this period. Reyes's work is pretty good, except for some intriguing oddities, primarily the inclusion of a mythical island known as Antilia. If anybody can find that island, please feel free to let me know. The map itself was found entirely by chance, discovered in 1929 by German theologian Gustav Adolf Deismann while cataloging the Topkapi Palace's library. After flicking through a stack of old and discarded material, Deismann found what he considered to be a most unique map and soon found out that it was an authentic and indeed the only known copy of a world map by Christopher Columbus. The map became an international sensation, especially captivating geographers who, for centuries, had failed to locate any map designed by Christopher Columbus. So the lesson here is that maybe we should all take a little more care when rifling through our old junk. You may just find a legendary map with a mythical island on it. Number 7. The Shroud of Turin How can you define anything strange when referring to a man who was able to perform miracles? It's a good question and one I'm going to sidestep completely just because I can. In religious circles, there's no more controversial artifact than the Shroud of Turin a simple piece of linen cloth that contains the negative image of a man. Some people believe that this piece of fabric is the shroud in which Jesus was wrapped following his crucifixion and that the image depicts our Lord and Savior himself. But as it often does, history and science have their own ideas, namely evidence suggesting that it was created in medieval times. A 1988 series of tests revealed that the shroud can be traced back to the Middle Ages, somewhere between 1260 and 1390. And though many dispute the findings of these tests, all arguments have been scientifically refuted. While the shroud is kept inside the Cathedral of Turin, the Catholic Church has never publicly endorsed nor rejected it. In 1958, Pope Pius XII voiced his support of the theory that the shroud belonged to Jesus, as did Pope John Paul II. Still, while some Christian denominations continue to show complete devotion to the shroud, there will always be an air of mystery about this religious question mark. Number 6. The Crinoid Screw Bear with me on this one, it gets more strange as it goes on, but you might end up learning a brand new word. In the 1990s, a Russian research team investigating the remnants of a meteorite stumbled upon a one-inch screw lodged inside of an old rock. The researchers took their discovery to be an incredible find, believing this screw to be a piece of ancient technology that not only proves the existence of extraterrestrials, but conclusively proves that they visited Earth millions of years ago. Of course, it didn't take long for scientists to burst a bubble of excitement, claiming that this screw is nothing but a fossilized marine creature called a crinoid. Now, I have no idea what the heck a crinoid is, but it sounds like a kind of crispy processed treat and I kind of like that. A further investigation was carried out by paleontologists who concluded that the stone itself was formed around 300 million years ago and contained a second screw within. The great mystery, however, is whether or not any of this is to be trusted. International experts were not allowed to examine the object nor did they ever reveal what this screw was made out of. Regardless, scientists around the world continued to dismiss the idea that this artifact 
is remotely exciting. But on the bright side, now you can use the word crinoid whenever you want. Number 5. The Dropa Stones If you're here looking for genuinely bizarre and slightly tragic stories about odd artifacts, then you're gonna love this one. In 1962, Beijing professor Sum Um Nui concluded his investigation into a strange collection of hundreds of circular stone discs dating back thousands of years. Nui believed that the peculiar grooves on these discs contained tiny hieroglyphs that could only be read with a magnifying glass. The hieroglyphs, Nui said, told the story of the Dropa people who had to adapt to life on Earth after their ship crash landed on our planet with seemingly no hope of fixing. Tragically for Nui, his 1962 published report on the stories was met with ridicule and laughter by his peers, forcing him to return to Japan in a self-imposed exile until his eventual death. I know that's a little dark for a channel like this, but hey, they can't all be wacky adventures. Nui's story mirrors the beliefs of many ufologists and pseudo-archaeologists, many of whom believe the stones to hold some kind of extraterrestrial significance. Unfortunately, there is no record of the stones ever being displayed in any of the world's museums and their current whereabouts, if they exist at all, are unknown. I'm more than aware that this is a somewhat bummer ending to a pretty interesting story, but you have to expect that once in a while. Number 4. The Nazca Lines Ordinarily, a hummingbird, spider, tree, fish, jaguar, monkey, llama, lizard, dog and a human would have very little in common. Other than obviously, they're all living things, but in Peru, they have one major thing in common. They are all part of the famous Nazca Lines. In southern Peru's Nazca Desert, a series of enormous geoglyphs line the soil to create designs of animals and plants, all composed of lines and indentations. All combined, the designs cover an area of around 19 square miles, about half the size of Orlando's Walt Disney World, but without the screaming kids and overpriced everything. Most archaeologists believe that the lines were created somewhere between 500 BC and 500 AD, though many experts dispute the purpose of their creation. The most common theory is that these drawings have some kind of religious significance and I, for one, welcome our glorious Lama monkey gods. Number 3. The Sacsayhuaman Walls Sitting at an altitude of 3,701 meters or 12,142 feet, if you'd really like to make yourself feel tiny, the citadel of Sacsayhuaman is best known as the historic capital of the Inca Empire and the largest structure ever built by the Incas. Designed by four architects working under the supervision of the great Inca builder Pakchacuti Inca Yupanqui, the Incas began building the citadel in the mid 12th century, using only mud and clay to form the first basic structures. But as with any empire, this was soon deemed to be unsatisfactory and the new rulers decided to start over with a much more complex and aesthetically pleasing material, stonework. Drafted in 20,000 laborers, the Incas worked under their brutal and well-oiled system of extracting the goods and labor from those that they conquered. Using their conquered labor groups to their benefit, the Incas put them to work quarrying, digging, and cutting the boulders until they could fit tightly without the need for mortar. Today, the site has been added to the UNESCO World Heritage List and continues to be protected. But why they even wanted to build the wall at all continues to be a significant unanswered question. The only logical conclusion is that even 12,000 feet in the air, neighbors can be a real pain. Number 2. The Ark of the Covenant Arguably the most well-known artifact in this list, the Ark of the Covenant is more than simply a fun little device that Indiana Jones used to help destroy the Nazis in World War II, covered in the excellent documentary Raiders of the Lost Ark, said to contain the two stone tablets of the Ten Commandments, and maybe more within its deceptively simple wooden appearance. The Ark of the Covenant is a legendary and intimidating artifact. It's a little bit like if a librarian quietly kept the doomsday books in her purse. Believed to have been created a year following the Israelites' exodus from Egypt, the gold-plated wooden chest was carried approximately 2,600 feet by its staves. According to the biblical account, the Ark was so feared and respected that it remained hidden under a large veil made up of skins and blue cloth whenever it was carried to protect from the eyes of onlookers, including those who carried it. Number 1. Underwater Cairn 
Our number one pick for the strangest artifact ever discovered comes from where else? The deep, dark recesses of the ocean or as some people, well, me, like to call it Aquaman's basement. In 2003, a routine sonar survey around the Sea of Galilee discovered something strange in the sea's southwest portion. A group of divers soon discovered that the item was much stranger than they ever could have expected. A mysterious, giant, cone-shaped stone structure weighing around 60,000 tons. For context, most modern warships weigh approximately 35,000 tons. That's a hell of a structure to be sitting around underwater. Researchers have come to believe that the structure is a giant rock cairn, a stack of rocks piled atop one another sometimes used to mark burials. But as with just about everything else on this list of weird and unexplained items, the scientists and researchers have no real clue whether or not this particular structure was used for that purpose. It's entirely plausible that this could simply be a stack of rocks at the bottom of the ocean. But of course, the question comes back to one simple word. Why? My guess is another paperweight. I think all of these items were intended as paperweights, honestly, and no science will convince me. Which of these strange artifacts would you want to get your hands on and which theories do you believe? Let us know in the comments below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.